This is germplasm, genetic raw material. In this case, rice seeds being prepared for long-term storage at the International Rice Research Center, ERI, in the Philippines. This earthquake-proof and fireproof gene bank is the largest collection of rice in the world. It houses 107,000 seed samples for wild and domestic varieties gathered around the globe over the past 30 years. But for rice plant breeders, it's just the starting point of a long, patient search for key genetic characteristics. I yield disease resistance and, of course, uh, other like nutrition, uh, tolerance to tolerance to abiotic stresses like salinity, uh, drought, uh, too much water, and all those sorts. So those are the characteristics that the plant breeder are looking for. Traditional and modern technologies are used to combine the specific genes needed to develop improved, high-yielding rice varieties. If food production in developing countries is to keep up with population growth, it must increase by approximately 60% over the next 25 years. For some countries, the gene bank is also a safe house. A small packet of seeds stored at Erie can give farmers the chance to rebuild their lives. The gene bank has been uh, a very important uh, contributor in bringing back the lost materials in countries uh, damaged by war. A very good example is uh, Cambodia. Ex situ collections are of fundamental importance for the free exchange and sustainable use of plant genetic resources. But the interaction and co-adaptation of farmers, their plants, and the land is a continuous process. Out in the fields, farmers still using traditional methods ensure that the evolutionary dynamics of each species are maintained. 